Everyone has hair on their heads, armpits, and legs. But men have more hair on their face and chest. See, look, I got a little bit. Look at that oh, tough nice. tan. Yeah. <laughs> and while we may make attempts to try to get rid of it, the reality is that men have more hair than women and in weird places. So why are men so hairy? Well, we're here with our friend Davey Wavy to answer this question while simultaneously treating Greg's body with hair removal products like waxing, shaving, and nair. It may surprise you, but all humans actually have the same number of hair follicles as our primate ancestors. Except our hair now is much more thin and unable to be seen by the human eye. Throughout evolution, it became an advantage to have thinner hair, and it's thought to be this way because our ancestors were traveling far distances to find food, and in the heat, thick hair was a disadvantage. So, to survive in the heat, we got thinner hair in our bodies and more sweat glands. But the hair on our heads stayed to protect our brains from direct sunlight. Okay, so now we're gonna do nair, which is crazy stuff. So apparently this stuff is like, the chemical aspect of it is like so intense that most of the lotion is literally just like aloe and different things. Like lanolin and other things to make you feel okay because the actual chemical that's doing the stuff yeah, here is so like, strong. I don't know if this is in my brain, but I feel like my fingers are burning. <laughs> so I just sit here? It doesn't burn or anything. Guys! <laughs> Okay. Also, what's kind of weird is like it smells bad, but you can tell they're trying to make it smell good. Do you yeah. smell it? Like it smells like... Can you feel anything? It feels... No, it kind of, it, I don't really feel anything. I don't know if it's in my head though, it feels like weird, but like... I, no, it just feels like a lotion. So the three minutes is up. Is it coming? It's coming off! That is so weird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, rub it off, rub it off. off. There's really so much hair. hair. You oh probably need to do several treatments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my hair again. Look at that! Oh. It's actually like clean ew, shape. Is <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, ew, there's ew. like a fluff of my hair. <laughs> this is crazy and it smells really bad. It actually does smell it smells like, awful. It smells like, like, wow, it works though. It really smells like, it smells like burnt hair. Yeah, like, you oh know, like, god, it smells so Like when a girl like straight irons her hair and then you can kind of smell it. See it? It's so literally crazy. so smooth like except for some straggles. And there's the patch and it's so smooth. And I think I do have a bruise there. I just didn't see it before because there was hair. <laughs> but I've never seen my leg like this. It's crazy. Men and women actually have the same number of hair follicles as well. Except the men have more terminal hair. And this is visible thick hair that's usually associated with the hair on our head or our pubic hair. Men have this terminal hair growing on their chest, back, and other weird places. And while women have hair in these places as well, it's actually called vellus hair, which is thinner and less noticeable. Alright, so we're gonna try waxing right now. My uh, legs! Have you ever waxed your legs, Greg? No. How does this work? Oh, this side's pretty sticky. Um... Uh, <laughs> or <laughs> both? gonna be a fingerprint. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, should I do mine there too, or how would I do one? No, you do up here, I'm mad. I'm scared. I don't now. think it's gonna hurt that much. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh! oh! Did it work? Oh, look at all that. Oh, yeah. oh my god. What? Are you no. no. I think it looks You're sexy. Right. <laughs> um, it actually didn't feel that bad. It made me feel that, like, 40 year old virgin, they're exaggerating. Oh, yeah. Was that but on his chest? I kind of would like do more. Like, if it looks patchy, I'm just gonna go upstairs and wax it all off. Okay. And be like a swimmer <laughs> for the next month. <laughs> so, why do men and women have different hair? It has to do with sexual selection. Like when male peacocks, for example, use their flashy tail feathers to display their fitness and attract females. Men may have become hairier to attract the opposite sex, the hair being an indication of health and fitness. So if the question is, is hair attractive, my answer would definitely be no, because when I'm eating someone's ass, I'm not trying to floss my teeth. Another theory actually says that maybe hairier men were better at detecting parasites on their body actually using their hair. And so females were potentially more attracted to these hairier men because they were more likely to be healthier and parasite free. This was kind of quintessential, but we're just gonna shave to show anyone out there who's under the age of 13 what shaving is. Do you shave, Davey? I don't need to. You just I naturally blast yeah. What does come in like when you do have a beard? Like like three little like straggly <laughs> hairs. <laughs> the witch mole. Like, yeah. What, yeah, rub my legs, boys. Okay, okay. Am I getting paid? Am I getting paid for this? <laughs> so are you supposed to go against the grain or with the grain? Apparently I've heard that going with the grain leaves less like red ingrown hair spots, which I do get when I shave. You're really going at it! <laughs> yeah, like, which way is against- oh wow, that's a lot of hair. I don't think I'm getting any. No, I think it, once you get, you have to like- I'm just doing water. it for effect. <laughs> so we're just painting now. <laughs> okay, so everyone, this is called shaving. Us okay, humans just, have decided to do yeah, this for funny. aesthetic reasons <laughs> and cultural reasons around the world. This is science, guys. <laughs> Alright, you can go watch it. 
Yeah. It sounds no, good, no. though. Yeah. I didn't want it like, I kind of want it. Kind of looks, no, no. Ew. Doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> so the shaving was kind of a flop. Hopefully that was exhilarating for yeah. you. <laughs> Even among men, the level of hair can vary a lot, depending on cultural differences, genetics, or ethnic backgrounds. Contemporary cultural trends of hairiness vary too quickly and too often to have any sort of persuasive evolutionary pressure on them, so you can shave it, wax it, or nair it however you want. Okay, we hope you enjoyed that video. I am now a hairless cat, Ooh. which I'm happy about. <laughs> yeah. So, make sure you watch our video on Davey's channel. It's called The Straight Guy Kissing Challenge. There's a lot of science and <laughs> straight guy kissing, so you have to watch it. It will change your life. Yeah, we'll, we'll, see, your we'll see you over there, so just click here to go. Peace. See ya. Bye.